Okay, y'all, so I was trying not to make this video long, but unfortunately, it's just going to have to be long. I'm sorry about that because um, what I want to tell y'all is that I'm about to, I don't want my noodles to cook all the way because when I put them in the oven, they're going to finish cooking. So you have to keep a good eye on them. And I just um, stirred them up and... They are getting soft already. They're not sticking to the bottom. This need to come on in. Come on, come on. But I know that crock pot is like my bus. It may take me a while to get up there, but once I get up there, I'm taking off. So um, yeah, we gon' we got we we gonna take the noodles off in a minute. So what I'm gonna do is I just got I just washed my uh, pork chop. I know I keep moving this stuff around. I know I do. We're going to take our pork chops and we're going to start cooking those. We're going to start cooking those. So I'm going to turn this on and I'm going to let it get hot. Let me turn y'all this way. Y'all remember Thanksgiving in my new kitchen? Woo! Shoot. All right, let's try to, let's move this, cause this is not helping. It's just in the way, not even helping. Let's see if I can put it up like this. There we go, it's much better. Okay, so I, I got my, this is for my noodles, so sit that to the side. Still got the wine, I told y'all. Made my head hurt a little bit. Had to take a break. Probably because I've been moving without taking a break. But um, I have my pork chop here. I just cleaned it with vinegar. And I'm just, you know, taking off any extra that does not belong on there that we don't want to cook. That's what I'm doing. Got a little extra piece right there that I'm not gonna take off. But actually, I am like that. All right. So let's do it again. This time we're gonna do it underwater. Make sure you get in between that little bone right there. You don't wanna eat any of that. And I'm not no type of put my meat in the sink type of person. So I'm gonna get a use a paper plate and put my uh, meat on it. Cause I don't put my meat in the sink. I don't know why. It's my sink. You know, I know it's clean because I cleaned it. But nah. Get in between that little bone. Because it's stuff that we don't want in our food. And this is just how I clean my, all my meat actually. Just use a little vinegar. Clean it up. kind of hard to clean it with nails on. All right. In between there. chicken, I mean for our um, cheese once we get to that step, but we haven't gotten there yet. So I have two plates, I believe, yep. I have two plates here that I'm going to use. I'm going to put two of my pork chops on this plate so that I can season them, and I'm going to keep these two on this plate so that I can season them. Okay. So I'm gonna scooch this over here like that. I 
I got to check my noodles. I got to. Because I don't want them to cook all the way. Because, um... Um... They're gonna cook more in the oven, and I don't want them to be overcooked. Alright, they're done. They're damn near overcooked. What I did not want to happen. Let's slide this off like that. And let's use this. Let's see what I can use. I think I got my. Let me go get my. cold water on them to stop them from cooking. That's how I want it. They're not overcooked. I thought they were, but they're not. I'm going to run cold water on them to stop them from cooking. Alright. There we go. Now I can relax because my noodles are out. So I'm going to turn my eye down to six. Season up my pork chops. Once my eye turned down to six, I'm going to put my oil in my pan. And remember, we don't want to season too much. I'm going to season it. Y'all already know I'm going to do the damn thing, but baby. Um, it's a lot of water in here. I don't want it to be too salty because we get, we eating a lot of pork. Okay, and we're gonna do some. Garlic powder. They definitely are. I've seen it, bitch. They better be looking at how I used to be. I swear to God. I swear. I'd have been to knock the shit out of one of them bitch ass niggas. They are definitely fear based. They're scary as hell. Let my water dry up in my pot. Put a little pepper on here. Now we're going to flip them over. And we're going to do the same thing to the other side. Okay. And we're not trying to over season or under season for that matter. We're just trying to season it enough to have some flavor. I know I did one side more than the other, but it's okay because I feel like the power of the season is going to seep through. And this is just garlic powder, so it really don't matter. I can do what I want with it, but this garlic salt here. I ain't even trying to die in my complete season. I can pretty much do what I want with it. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to manipulate them just like this. Just like that. We're going to manipulate them. And they're going to share the seasons. 
I'm gonna share. It's time to share today, guys. That looks pretty good. Not trying to put too much, y'all. High blood pressure runs in my family. So that's pretty good as well. Then we got the last one here. Do that way. Do that way. Do that way. Do that way. Then this little bit that I didn't even think about seasoning, but it's okay. So grab that. There we go. All right. Okay, so I have my pork chop all seasoned up. I'm just going to sit it on this side, put my oil in my pan, and let it get hot. And since I'm frying pork chop, I don't need too much oil. So we're going to let it do that. And while it does that, I'm going to clean up because it's going to take a little minute before my oil get hot. But that's a good thing because my pork chops can marinate and um, I forgot to put a little pepper, but it's okay. Okay, so let me wash these dishes. I need this for my cheese. I'm gonna put my egg, I'm gonna put my cheese all in here. Okay, my 
cheese. I think I'm gonna melt my cheese. Milk. Um, butter. I was thinking about putting sour cream in my um in my macaroni and cheese. I don't know. I'm probably gonna do it. Alright, so let me check. Let me put my pork chop on first. I think it's um so y'all can see what I'm doing over here. It's not hot enough. I'm going to let it get a little bit hot. Alright, so let me, let me, um, uh, let's wash this out in my pot. Because I think I'm going to melt my cheese. Today. I just turned the stove on, which I should not have, but I did. It's okay, because I'm going to turn it back on. Y'all hear it? That's because I had it on. Let me let this preheat at 350. All right. Let me get a knife. And I'm going to use half a stick of butter. Why y'all ain't tell me uh, that the place was so important? All of this cheese, baby. I already know. I ain't come to play. I'm 
probably put too much milk. So what I'm going to do is pour some Ooh, hot, hot, hot. Where can I pour it? Don't, just don't drop it, girl. We good. You don't want to use all that milk? Fine. Pour some in the bowl because you may need it. Cause it hot. It hot, 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 hot. Alright, let's finish doing this. At this point, y'all see. I'm trying to hurry to get this done. Cause when I drop them, I want to drop all of them at the same time. Like so. This is just gonna have to be a long video today. I didn't want it to be, but it don't have to be. Okay, so I still got my eggs, still got a little bit of milk, still got my cheese. Okay. Wash those dishes, put my noodles back in the sink, put this up. Okay. Um, see what I'm missing. This is not, come on, I need you to melt, babe. All right, y'all. So I got everything how I want it. Let me just wipe the counter down and then I can start doing my, um, finishing up my cheese. I'm just waiting for that. It's, 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 it's doing the damn thing now. I don't want it to cook. It's doing it to melt. I should have cut it up. because I'm going to put it in my pot.
this is my chainsaw. turn y'all back around ain't nothing over there to see all right so i just beat my egg up i'm gonna put my noodles drop my noodles and remember y'all they're not all the way cooked because they're going to cook some more once they get in the oven then i'm just gonna dang i wish i had a pan i could have used one egg but it's okay Okay. So this is how it looks. It's look like nasty stuff right now. But let's put this cheese sauce over it. I'm gonna show y'all how the cheese sauce looks. This is the cheese sauce, and we're going to pour it like so. Mm -hmm. Take the what and leave the who? I ain't even played with a motherfucker this week. This Sunday. Ooh, don't fall, baby. All right. The rest of this out. Everybody know it's not macaroni and cheese unless what? put this in the oven and we're going to let it cook. We're going to let it bake, rather. I, if y'all didn't hear my timer, my timer just went off on my oven. We're going to let it bake for like 45 minutes because it's not too much. Pork chop. It's, it's still cooking. And I'm going to cook it in this pot right here because I didn't get nothing else to put uh, it in. Just going to wash it out, bro. I know it's cheese and y'all like, why didn't you just leave it in there? Because I don't want it to burn. That's why I didn't leave it in there. Because it's 
because I don't want it to burn on. It's already was sticking. And I was making it sticking to the bottom. cook just the same. Don't worry, y'all. Don't worry. And then when we get done with it, we're going to top it off with the rest of that. So this is how it looks. Y'all can see. Looks good. We're going to throw it in the oven. Oh! Alright, mama. Go ahead and do your thing. We're going to let that cook for like 45 minutes. Set my timer. Okay. We're gonna let our macaroni and cheese cook for 45 minutes. When that timer go off, we're gonna throw the rest of this cheese on top of it. Did not use the milk. Glad I poured some out. Always trust your instinct. I felt like it was too much. And it would have been. It would have been runny. I don't want no runny macaroni and cheese. Okay, so let me wash these limited dishes. And I'll be back. Because I'm still thinking about how long this video is going to be. 